Kevin D. Climbing Channel. How's it going? Thank you for joining me on my next episode. We will be at Black Rocks, which is a very, very cool crag in St. George, Utah. It's very different from the normal red rocks I climb. So this episode will have a lot of igneous and metamorphic climbing, which is very exciting. So come join me as we do some rope soloing. Hello everyone, St. George, Utah. Location, Black Rocks, climbing crag. We're on the sunny side. There's the shady side over there. There's a few routes over there if you can see the chalk. Behind me is some cool fucking looking routes. Yesterday I was here with Nishan. We did a lunar orbit or something. I don't know, 510B over there. Hard bad boy. Um, I didn't get it on camera. There was a lot of people around. We were just hanging out, having a good time. I don't like, you know, I don't like pulling out the camera on people I'm not familiar with. Sometimes it makes people uncomfortable. Everyone was kind of smoking and I don't know. It's when you meet a new group of people, it's kind of weird to start vlogging. So usually I particularly vlog by myself or with people I'm okay with vlogging with. So long story short, we didn't cover that area, but today I'm here to top solo this bad boy. See those little holes? The cool thing about this black rock is it's made out of um, igneous and metamorphic rock. Oh wow, some people like to not, oh that's ready to rip out. An old, uh, can't even think of the fucking word. It's a stopper, it's a little hex stopper and it looks destroyed. I wouldn't even use it if I recovered it. So it's probably just there to clip in for safety if you're trying to climb it. But we're gonna try this bad boy. Anyways, I was in the shot yesterday and um, Crazy shit happened. We met up with Steve Bro and we were going to Snow Canyon to um, do this 5-5 scramble trad, like a few hundred feet high. We get to the beginning and start racing up and things aren't looking very good. We're not on rope. Um, someone was like, yeah, you don't need rope, it's fine. I figured we could have used rope just to be safe. Turns out we should have used rope because Nishant took a fall. He didn't fall as far as he could have, but he took about a 10 footer and fractured a bone in his ankle and broke a bone in his finger or fractured a bone in his finger. We were sitting at the hospital all day. Uh, it was the insta care. It wasn't like severe, you know, he was, uh, he got carried back to the car by Steve. You know, I'm glad things went well, but long story short, we didn't do much climbing yesterday because Nishant had to go to the ha. Uh, uh, get medical attention, but he's okay. He's back in Logan right now, but I'm here today by myself and I'm gonna climb this bad boy. So let's go to the chain and see what it's all about. But uh, look at, sorry to get um, sidetracked, but this, I'm gonna climb it with it on my head because I want you guys to see the difference between sandstone and black rock. It's beautiful. All right, let's get this out. At least I found out this wasn't locked. Uh, let's start. Ah! Fuck. Ah. Ah. So pretty. I want to mount this properly without cheating. Anything under here? Damn it. 
Let's think about this. I saw a guy climbing this yesterday and he was going hella left and now I kind of understand why. Ah! Oh, all this stuff is so smooth. I don't want to cheat and go hella left, so I'm going to try and keep it centered. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Look at this, when you're, uh, the earth is so fucking hot during certain times, many, 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 many thousands of millions of years ago, it does all sorts of cool shit like this, under heat and pressure and up falling. Uh, the cool outcome of it all is you get this kind of stuff and it's absolutely beautiful for climbing. Um, It's like tiny pieces of coral and they create, fuck I'm so tired of trying to talk, uh, some of the coolest types of holds because they're just so unique the way that during the time of this being volcanic it was under so much change but I, as a climber, get to enjoy the beautiful outcome. Oh, rock falling. <laughs> oh, let's take a view and look at that view. Just, it's so incredible that this is rock climbing. And the sad part is this area is going to be closed tomorrow due to the tortoise season. Mating season. Damn, I wonder if everyone goes right for the end. Garbage. Uh-oh. These look bomb, but they're not. And then if you look down at my feet, it's like, ah. Uh. There's a good left. Oh shit. Oh fuck, sorry Mr. Cameron. Single finger mono pocket. Damn it. It's like a single finger, single finger mono pocket. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, pull in, reach out. Ooh, that's a good ledge. There's a good foot. Kevin, do you climbing? Ooh. That was a fun one. Hot as heck on this side, but it's nice. Metal on metal, Kevin. Oh well. All right, signing off for now. Hey guys, um, 
Just finished this bad boy. Um, really fun. It's super hot out. Not like unbearably hot, but the black rock definitely makes it cook. <laughs> but this is really fun. I'm gonna climb it one more time and then take it down. Uh, take a shower and go to work. First, let's take a little dab break. Cheers, YouTube. So, like I was saying earlier, today and technically tomorrow is the last time you can climb here until like June <coughs> because <coughs> the desert tortoise has their mating season in this area. And <coughs> as much as I want to climb these beautiful black rocks, until the cows come home, uh, I can't. I gotta respect that. I don't wanna disrupt any of their nesting or any other like hooking up habits. Like if tortoise, tortoise is trying to hook up and he sees me over here smoking, doing vlogs and he gets self-conscious like conscious about his tortoise stuff and he sees his companion and he decides he can't do it. So he dips. Just by seeing me rock climbing, that tortoise was like, I'm not gonna have kids. And I don't wanna disrupt the uh, flow of nature when it comes to tortoises mating. So when it's time, I think today will be the last time I climb here. I don't think I'll be able to make it in tomorrow. Um, but yeah, beautiful spot. Try and climb one more time, but uh, don't mess with nature. So as much as it stinks, that's the one cool thing about being a responsible climber. I want to share that on Kevin D Climbing Channel. Just respect the rules. Um, it just, like, lead by example. You know, people thinking, like, get a really bad idea with certain sports and certain outdoor activities if people mess it up. Like, rock climbers do graffiti, which is freaking lame. And don't do that because it gives us a really bad name. But enough ranting. Keep climbing, have fun. Respect the rules, be safe. Kevin D. Funny.
Ooh, I'm glad that was done. Get out of here. 